going on guys? So welcome to YouTube and Chats. We are going to work in this beautiful Matura Sport. I love as well. Now today we're not going to work in the Matura Sport obviously. We're going to continue the build for the Honda Odyssey. Into this episode we're going to tackle the most nerve wracking thing of all time. Which is to paint the Honda Odyssey and get it ready for inspection. I am in my friend's yard. It's super cold. I am in a slight mud pit because it was raining the day before and I'm painting over a piano stand that's held up by a screwdriver. <laughs> what can go wrong, right? But we are gonna start painting in the nighttime actually because I was doing a lot of stuff in the daytime to get it ready. However, because it is winter, the nighttime came super fast. It's not really late, it's just dark because of winter. So let's get into it. So as you, you guys saw, that thing fell over. What I actually hit was that corner right there, which I sanded down and everything. And the paint's coming off. And here, a little bit here. I'm telling you, I cannot catch a break. I cannot. One eternity later. All right. Okay, so this is a final look of the fender. As you can see, it has some imperfection, like right here. Right there, I'll try to uh, sand it and prime it, but that primer is very thin, it doesn't cover at all. I wish I could just do it right, but I've learned to accept imperfections. To get a perfect paint job, you need a perfect setting, and I just don't have that. Okay, so this is the last coat of clear. As you can see, it looks kind of shiny. Look at that shine, look at that shine. Everywhere is shiny. So it's not perfect. It has some like dust right here or something like that. I would say it's a 7.5 out of 10. And a 7.5 is good enough. Okay, so here is the bumper. As you can see, it has a lot of scratches, a lot of damage. The only major damage is right here. But I'm not too worried about how it's gonna look because, as you guys know, I still park my cars in the street. And if I paint this bumper super nice and fix it up real nice. In less than three months, it's gonna be looking just like this or worse because people don't know how to park. So, I managed to use my heat gun over there and I managed to weld itself shut. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some putty. So, this is what I did. The bondo, I put some bondo on those deep scratches there so I can fill it up a little bit. And for the major damage, filled it up that way. I should have used more bondo, but I could do a second round on that and do it perfect. Will I? Probably not. <laughs> okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and this thing is not hardening. 
I don't know if I use too little hardener, but usually that's not the case because I kind of use a lot. But I guess the cold is not letting it dry. I don't know. You guys tell me. Does cold affect the bundle from drying? The next day. So let's check out the results from yesterday. First, let's check out this bumper. See if the bundle finally hardened. And it did. It took a really long time. Because I waited for at least like half an hour. And I didn't want to do it. But it uh, finally solidified here too. So let's check out the fender. The fender is looking good. It's looking good. There it is. That's the new fender. Color matched and everything. So it used to be that color. Now it's this color right here. Okay, so let's see how it looks on the actual car. You see how the paint matches. The paint match is spot on. Jesus. Okay, it's right there. You can barely see any difference. Now, the last piece is the bumper. I painted all of this black. Alright, so we're back from the junker. Let me show you guys what I got. Quick. I got two. CSS Grand Touring tires for the minivan and I have the passenger side splash shield. These two tires cost me 40 bucks, that cost me six bucks. Uh, side note here, I went to the junkyard many, many times to get the parts for this minivan. I was looking for the exact color and I was hoping that since this like like not not even lying, like 40 odysseys, especially now with the floods, it has been coming in like crazy. I was hoping that I find the same color van that had the, the fender, the bumper, and the splash shield. Simple, but nothing. So I decided to get that, uh, I think like khaki one, and this one that's close to my color, but it's not, which has some damage as you can see here so today I go to the junkyard and I found my same color van that had a brand new bumper you see how you order a bumper and it comes black that minivan had the bumper in the back already taken out brand new just lying there second I see that it has the fender the same color as my minivan which I could have saved at least 200 bucks on paint, which this whole deal cost me 200 bucks. And then I was looking for a condenser. That same minivan had a brand new condenser. Like it looked new. It had like the fins had no damage. And I was just pissed, man. Like all this time, I'm trying to get a good thing, and I couldn't get anything. Now that I have everything, I go back and I find one. That has everything that I was looking for right there. Nobody messing with it. It was just lying there. Ah, but that's life, right? That is life. I did 1K sanding just to smooth it out a little bit and I'm just letting it dry for a little bit more. It's nice and smooth. It's not perfect by any means, but like I said, that's not the point.
So, the first coat, a base coat, has gone in. This is very uneven. We can kind of see the color already. But, uh, I got okay coverage. So, this is the last coat of the four coats of color. I said like three and something. I have more cans there, but I really don't want to waste paint on this bumper. fourth coat of semi-complete gloss so this is going to be the final look of the bumper That is the final look. I'm gonna leave it to dry inside the car. When I come back, I'm gonna put it on, put everything back on how it's supposed to look, and then uh, as far as alignment, most likely everything is done. As, as far as painting, everything is done. Now, I will be putting a link to where I bought these paint cans uh, right here, but I'm not sponsored by any shape or form by these people. If you enjoy, if you appreciate that, just in return, I would, I would like to ask a humble like on this video. That's it. And share it with whoever you think needs it. So until next time guys, God bless. Stay prayed up. Peace.